Hello everyone and welcome back to another Expedition Sunday, our very first Expedition Sunday of August 2015 and I just thought I would share a quick glimpse to you guys of where I am. This is my deck. So remember how many expeditions we used to go on that were just around my house? Well we are around my house now except we're just on the deck. Here's the bird seed that has been so amazingly popular with the birds. You can see there's lots and lots of like sunflower seeds in here. Yeah, that's the very first thing that they come to pick out from all of the food. And you can see it's been super successful. I need to like get down there and sweep a little bit. But yeah, I just, I wanted to show you guys. I am so surrounded on all sides by greenery. I'm so lucky. This apartment complex has thousands of people and yet we have the corner view where it's just uninterrupted gorgeous trees and also my growing garden so check this out this is our pepper plant it has still not put off some fruit so I think I've learned I need to learn a little bit more about pepper plants before I'm able to successfully grow them but the heirloom chocolate bell pepper plant definitely uh, grew <laughs> if nothing else so we've got him he accidentally ended up in the same pot as our awesome little little elephant ear here who's doing quite well and then we've got a whole bunch of seeds from the bird the bird feeder that have fallen in here and sprouted that I need to get out so that's just so fun and then down here I was gonna show you guys this to show you you do not have to go very far to be able to start seeing fantastic things on these expeditions. You can just go out to your own backyard and you can see this tiny itty bitty spider. You see that itty bitty spider, smaller than my pinky nail by far. And she has been hard at work setting up this beautiful web and it's huge. This was not here yesterday. So again, look at that tiny spider and then look at how big this web is. Isn't that just amazing? She's been working so hard. You really have to admire an industrious little creature like that who not only has made something this big, but you have to realize all of this silk comes from inside her, comes from her own body. So that's a big, big, big project. And I hope she does quite well catching any little bugs that she needs. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys real quick where all of the gorgeous greenery is. Oh, I just saw a hummingbird flit up into that tree. There's hummingbirds everywhere here. And we can see them because we're up on the third story. So they feel comfortable enough to come out and rest on the tree branches near us. So hopefully after payday, I'll be able to afford uh, to splurge a little bit <laughs> and maybe get some more bird feeders or a nice bird bath I can set up right here for them. Um, maybe not so close to the seeds because clearly they're a little messy. <laughs> and then a nice little bird, uh, hummingbird feeder that we can hang down from the top. And hopefully we'll be able to get out here and start clearing away some of the old used up summer plants and putting in some new plants for fall and, and winter harvest. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But let's go down there, and I'm going to head down to the little path. There's actually a path right there. I'm going to walk through the forest, and we'll go see if we see anything on our way to the lake today. So one second, guys. You guys, hummingbird, 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 hummingbird. Oh, can I get it? Oh, that was a cardinal. Oh, darn. It zipped away. No, no, there it was. Oh, man. Already. I'm not even all the way down there, and already a hummingbird. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and look at that cardinal. There's the hummingbird again. Oh, 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 and look at the cardinal. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness, I love bird watching from the back of my house. I have to get a better camera to be able to show you guys more. Oh, 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 there's the hummingbird. Did you see it? It was over by the hummingbird feeder. Oh, there it is again. Look, oh my gosh, how fun. We definitely need to get ourselves a feeder, and I definitely need to compete with my amazing neighbors who actually also have a fantastic little garden, and they have lots of... Oh, there go the birds. Oh, look at you. And they have fantastic happy birds. Do you guys see the heron down there? It is currently eating a little fish of some kind that got left out. Look at it. Oh, it is totally eating a fish. Oh my gosh, I wish I could zoom in better. Oh, I need a better camera. I need a better camera so badly, but it has a huge fish in its mouth. Do you guys see that? 
Oh, that is so cool. That is just so cool. How is it going to eat that thing? Look at the birds who are trying to show up to steal the fish from the heron. You see those hungry crows? They keep an eye on them. And heron's trying to scarf down that meal. There's another crow behind the heron. There's two more behind the heron, too. How on earth is he going to eat that whole fish? It's huge. Is the, are the crows going to steal it? Oh, oh, oh. Are you going to manage it, buddy? I imagine that would feed a big bird like that for at least the day. Come on, are you going to eat it? Oh, there he is. Look how awesome. Well, <laughs> the crows have given up, so he's probably going to be able to scarf it down. I just imagine it takes a minute to be able to swallow something that big. I wonder if he's trying to... Oh, no, no, look at him. He's got it. He hasn't swallowed it yet, but he's got it in his mouth and he seems happy. Alright, you do you, buddy. There he goes. Down to the water. I hope the fish is already dead or else it's going to swim off. Well, that was really cool. Being able to see the little hummingbirds. I saw some more on my way over here drinking from the mimosa trees and being able to see the heron trying to eat that fish and the very opportunistic crows keeping a very close eye on whether or not that would make a good meal for them. Oh, and this is just so beautiful. This is just so beautiful. And there's a plane going overhead. That's pretty cool too. I'd rather see places like this where modern life, in quotations, can unite with beautiful green space like this that's available inside the city. We're, we're in a huge city and this is this is right here. This is my backyard. And I think that's amazing and I think that's the way it should be and I absolutely love it. And it's very beautiful here. I've been sitting down trying to keep an eye out for some turtles but I think the heron eating that big fish, which you probably got from this lake right over here, was probably the highlight of the morning so far so I'll try to sneak out early in the future to see if I can get more views of the heron eating the fish um because it's just I didn't see him swallow it and he wandered off before I could get a good idea of how they how they pull it off so I love it I love how there's still so much out here in the world after years and years and years of exploring to still see, to still be awed by, to still think is absolutely amazing and wonderful and beautiful. And I'm really grateful that I get to share the experience with you guys. Oh, there's a little bird going by. Oh, so cute. But yeah, I'm really grateful I get to share the whole experience with you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this little expedition Sunday. Oh, wow. It's just so beautiful. The world really is so beautiful. <laughs> Even when we're in the middle of the city, so we can still hear all the city noises. I still like that there's places where I can like look down and see the moss and see the tree roots and the beautiful plants and the beautiful lake. And I just think this is how it should be. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I know that if you don't live somewhere like this, we are the force of change. As cliche and awful as that sounds. We can create this again. Maybe. <laughs> but that's diving into too deep of thoughts. So don't worry about it. The point is, go out there. Adventure. Explore. You never know what you're going to find in your own backyard. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, stay curious like this little turtle that just popped up. Hi, he's so cute. Look at him. He just popped up to see what we're doing. Hi, buddy. But yeah, just stay curious, you guys, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.